hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my January favourites and the reason I'm most excited to do this video is because it means that January is finally over. I don't like to wish time away but I hate January so much. But I do really love to do favourites videos because it just makes me sit down and take note of the things that I really enjoyed using that month and it just makes me appreciate the little things a little bit more and I hope you like seeing what my favourite things were in the month of January. First of all, I'm going to start off with some beauty products, the first being a shower cream. Hopefully you can see that. This is the Café de Bain Delectable Home Bathing. Um, this is a, sh a softening shower cream, <laughs> a softening shower cream in the scent Sweet Vanilla Madeline. Now the only reason I know that they are some kind of cake um, is because I've seen them on the Great British Bake Off. Um, but I've never tried one. But the reason I'm including this is because I've used it, it's all gone. Or well, there might be like one use left, but as you can, oh god, as you can see, <laughs> I've used it all. Um, it <laughs> I'm so immature. This just smells absolutely amazing. If you don't really like very, very sweet or sickly scents, then you're not going to like this. But if you're that kind of gal, then you will love this. It smells really realistic. Like, it smells like something's baking in the oven and you're just like, what is that I need to eat, whatever that is. It's very realistic, it smells like a bakery, like the loveliest cake you've ever tried. It's very sugary and sweet and I'm really, really sad it's gone. But I loved this so, so much and I will be getting another one of these 100%. And then sticking with beauty products, um, I actually wanted to include some hair care. These are the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using most recently and they are the Garnier Ultimate Blend Shampoo, the Blonde Illuminating Shampoo and the Blonde Illuminating Conditioner and it's got hair all over it. So this is the one with chamomile and acacia honey. I've used a fair bit of this and probably, I don't know if you can see it through the bottle but at least the same amount has gone of the conditioner. I really like these together. A few months ago my hair was mega, mega, mega dry um, and I just couldn't brush it through, it was awful. And now it's not like that at all, it's in much better condition. When I get out of the shower I can at least, at least brush it through while it's wet. Um, I'm not sure if these are completely the reason for that because um, I've only been using them probably all of January, maybe a bit of December, um, but I really love them. I love the scent, it leaves my hair smelling really pretty and fresh afterwards. Um, I wanted to get the honey version, but this one is for blondes, so I thought I would try that. And I really love chamomile and honey, and they're just, they smell lovely, they, they're doing wonders for my hair. I really like the condition my hair's in at the moment, it looks very shiny and glossy. So I'm definitely enjoying using these, and I'm going to stick with these for the time being. I have a few different categories within this video, but I'm going to go on to something different, because I didn't want this to just be a beauty favourite. So I'm going to next talk about apps, and I've got three apps that I really really want to tell you about. The first one is called Sugar Smart. It's free to download. Um, basically, if you live in the UK, you've probably seen loads of Sugar Smart adverts aimed at kids and not giving them so much sugar. And I thought this was such a clever idea. Um, the app looks like this. Basically, what you do is you scan the barcode of a product and it tells you exactly how many cubes of sugar or how much sugar is in that product. So, Obviously, I downloaded it straight away and just went to the cupboard and scanned all of Archie's stuff, any kind of snack type products that we have. And it's so shocking to see how many cubes of sugar are in different products. It's amazing. Um, bottles of fizzy drinks, crisps, sweets, anything that you have in your house that you think, hmm, I wonder how much sugar's in that. Go and check it out. I think it's a brilliant app. It doesn't work with everything. I think they're working to add more and more products as they go on, but it worked with probably 80% of what I tried and it is so so interesting so I really enjoyed that um, and I would definitely recommend it whether you've got kids or whether you want to lower your own sugar intake give that one a go. The next app is called Best Fiends. Now I was recently contacted by the makers of this game who asked me if I wanted to give it a go. I downloaded it, it's free to download and I played it and obviously they thought if I liked it I would tell you about it and I really did enjoy it. So I thought I'd just give you a bit of a rundown of the game, what it's about and basically why I've become slightly addicted to it lately. Okay, when you start the game you see a map and you have to go through each of the different levels to progress in the game. 
The game itself is pretty easy, it's quite easy to get sucked into. It shows you how to play it when you first start, so it's really easy um, and self-explanatory. Basically, you have these coloured blocks with different shapes in them, and if they have the same shape and there is more than three of them, you can connect them up together to destroy the slug that's at the back. So you just link them all together. It doesn't have to be in a certain direction. As long as they're touching each other diagonally um, or next to each other, you can link them together. You also have a team of fiends that help you. These are the little um, colourful bugs. And you can collect meteor mites and diamonds to help make them bigger and stronger and defeat the slug. So basically, the more blocks you can connect together, the quicker you'll defeat the slug and move on to the next level. So it's really easy. There's different little games between um, the levels where you can unlock keys, you can get more diamonds, you can get more meteor mites. Um, it's just a really fun little game and I really enjoy it because it's just something that I can go on maybe for a little while after Archie's gone to bed or something and you just can block everything else out, you don't have to think of anything. Um, especially when I feel a little bit anxious as well, I just find going on some kind of game helps me to like regulate my breathing again and just get back to normal instead of overthinking whatever I'm worried about. If you like your games on your phone then go to the app store, download it, it's free to download, it's really fun to play, it's a good way to take your mind off things and I'm really glad the makers got in touch with me actually because now I have a new game to play. The last app that I wanted to tell you about is called Facetune and this is a photo editing app. Um, I hadn't heard about this till fairly recently, I think it's a rather popular one now amongst Instagrammers and people that like to edit their photos. Um, it's a really, really good one. If, like me, you end up taking a photo which you think is on quite a white background, you like that kind of clean, crisp, white aesthetic, um, but then if you compare it to someone else's photo or you just look at it again and you think, oh, actually, that's quite yellow, it's a really good app. Um, basically, what you can do is, if you're on a fairly neutral or white background, you press the whitening tool and then you just kind of run your finger over it. You can zoom in if you need to do kind of like smaller details. Um, and it really does help to uh, whiten up a picture, maybe imp even improve the white balance of it. I think it's actually meant for teeth and things like that, but obviously people use them for all different things. So I really like um, Facetune. There are other things you can do. You can smooth out so it's kind of like an airbrushing tool. And there's loads of things you can explore within Facetune. So again, it's just a good one to have on your phone. If you like Instagram, if you like to perfect your photos a little bit more, um, I really love Facetune, so that's another one. I'm gonna go on to some clothes now. Um, I've got two things I want to show you in this video. One is my beloved jumper and um, this might look a little bit boring I don't know but I've been living in this for the month of January it's so cozy it's so warm it's oversized I just love it so it's this jumper it's sort of kind of like a grey mull but it's almost more like if you actually look at it up close it's all it's just a black and white or black and like sort of an off-white knit very chunky um, it just fits really nicely. You can wear it over skinny jeans or leggings because it's quite long. Um, and I like the neckline. It's not like mega high, but it comes up probably as high as this. And it was only fourteen ninety nine from H and M. So I thought I'd give it a go. And ever since, I've just loved it. And I wish I got some more of them. Um, I'll try and link this below if it's still on their website because there are other colours available. But for £14.99, it's just so heavy, so it feels so nice, and oh, I love this so much, and I'll definitely go and get more of them, because it's freezing outside. And then, something else which you may be a little bit shocked to see from me, I'm not sure I've ever shown a pair in a video ever, I might be wrong, I got some trainers! I I love trainers, but I have a far, a far, a hard time finding a pair that suits me. So in the January sales, I didn't get much, that's so why I didn't do a January sales video. But I picked up these. These are Nike blazers and they're in this gorgeous grey colour with sort of a creamy white um, swoosh tick and then obviously the laces. They're high tops and I just really like them. As you can probably see, I haven't worn them yet. 
So you may be thinking, why are you including them in your favourites? You haven't even worn them. Like, I love them so much, I just keep going and looking at them. But I'm not really sure what I've got that will go with them. I'm thinking of these skinny jeans, maybe a white t-shirt, or just give me ideas of what you think would go with these in the comments, because I really, really want to wear them. Um, but again, I think I might save them until it gets a bit warmer. I don't want to wreck them just by going outside and it being muddy and horrible. Um, I love the, the sole as well, bright fluorescent orange. Um, yeah, so I'm just really happy to have a pair of trainers. I, again, if I can find them, I will link them below because I got them in the sale as well. I didn't pay full price for them at all because I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of them. But I'm really hoping that this year is the year of me wearing trainers. I've got two more categories to go. The next being makeup. I have a couple of makeup items to show you. The first is the foundation, which I've been loving this month. And I've actually had it for a while. But for one reason or another, I didn't use it. I always end up doing that. And then I come back to something and then I realise I actually really like it. So this is the YSL Youth Liberator Serum Detint Serum Foundation. It's in B30, and I just really like the colour match to my skin, first of all. I find it quite hard to get one that matches well. I'm wearing it right now, by the way. Um, I like the coverage of it. It's not mega thick. I usually find high-end foundations, I usually don't like them. They're quite perfumed, and then they irritate my eyes um, and make my eyes run, which makes my foundation come off, and it's just no good. That usually happens with all high-end foundations on me for some reason. I'm talking about like Chanel and ones like that. Um, but this doesn't do that. It's not strongly perfumed. It has a pump. Oh, I've unscrewed it. It has a pump, which I like, because some of them have just like a little dropper or something, which isn't that helpful with the foundation. And yeah, I like, as I said, I like the colour, the coverage, and the staying power is really good. It lasts generally throughout the day. Might look a little bit patchy right at the end of the day, but it's a pretty good one. Obviously, it's a bit on the pricey side because it's YSL, but if you have problem skin like me, then, then investing in a good foundation is a must, really. So, picked that one. And this, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in any video at all. I think I must have. I mentioned it in a blog post, but anyway. This is one of the NARS Velvet Lip Pencils, which I rave about. I have on... NARS Red Square, which is a lip pencil, which is my all-time favourite colour right now. Um, but this is one that I really, really like, and it's called Bahama. Now, I don't know how well you can see it. It's that sort of um, dark nude. It reminds me of the Kylie Jenner uh, lip kits. I haven't tried those yet, um, but it just reminds me of a Kylie Jenner lip colour in general, that sort of dark nude, it's probably a bit darker than that to be honest, it's a little bit more pinky, um, but I just, I really like this colour at the moment, it goes on quite, it goes on very matte, it's quite nude on me, um, but it just, when I look in the mirror it looks that little bit more sophisticated, a little bit vampy, but without wearing like a dark berry or a bright mm. red, it's a little bit more wearable but still has an impact. So I just love these in general, the formula formulation of these um, lip pencils, but the colour I really like, so that's Bahama. And finally, my last category is books. I've got two to tell you about, so I'll just go through them quickly. The first being this book, which I've heard about so much on YouTube that I finally gave into the hype. Um, and I'm really, really glad I did. Basically, this is the Marie Kondo, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying. If you're not interested in tidying, this will probably be the world's most boring book. But if you have like that overwhelming feeling that you want to get your life organised, get your space tidy, um, this book really does tell you how to do it and how to achieve it and keep it like that. I'm about, I read like a third of it in the first go, I'm probably about halfway through now and I'm not going to start until I've read the whole thing. But what I'm hoping to do is with some of these uh, tips and tricks and ways to tidy that I've learnt in this, I want to film the process so not talk about everything, if I clean out my kitchen cupboard you guys aren't really going to be interested in that, but you might be interested in seeing me 
really clear out all of my clothes and accessories and bags and shoes and makeup so if you would like to see that process in some form leave me a comment below and let me know that because I have found this massively helpful the lights a bit bright so you can't see it but I love this book I'm sorry that everyone's talking about it I did buy it because other people were talking about it too and I can see why it's really really interesting and finally I have uh, mentioned this in my what I got for Christmas video but I hadn't started using it then and this is my Q&A a day as you probably know I got for Christmas it's the five year journal and I did not explain it very well in that video at all but I can kind of show you now because I have been filling this in it's flicked to the 8th of January and the question is what song is stuck in your head so you just fill in the top line and you get five different sections and you actually just fill in this once a year so this is actually five years worth on a page you put the date so it's got 20 and then I've put 16 and then I wrote today Archie and I had a little dance to run the world and rather be and we've been singing them all day that boy loves to boogie so that just reminds me of a little day it was a stay at home mummy kind of day where we were dancing around and having fun and I'll always have that as a little memory there um, so you don't have to write a full diary every evening if you don't have the time you literally just write four lines a day um, and it gives you a question and you answer it and then you answer it for the next four years after that and you have this sort of little time capsule which I just think is really special and I just wanted to quickly say as well I googled these recently and I've seen on Google they have not Google, I've seen on Amazon, they have loads of different kinds. Um, they have one for mum, so they ask you kind of mum type questions. They have one for your kids. So I thought an amazing thing to do would be to get one and then without your kid even really knowing until they're a little bit older, I suppose, you just ask them the question each day. I don't know what they are, but it could be like, what's your favourite animal? And if you ask them when they were four, say you started when they were four, I couldn't start mine yet because Archie is still not talking properly. But say you start when they're four and their favourite animal is a dog. You can see how it changes over the next five years because in a child's lifetime, that is a long space of time. And again, it will be something that they can keep in their memory box forever of what they said if they gave a little funny answer or something. So I'm definitely gonna pick one of those up and I'll, I'll link some below as well if you do wanna check them out. They've got loads of different types, teenage ones, loads. So that's everything that I wanted to show you in this video. I'm sorry if it was mega long again. Hopefully I can edit this down a bit. Um, yeah, leave me comments below what you think I should wear my trainers with. And also if you'd be interested in seeing any kind of life organization tidying type videos and I'll be back with another video soon thanks for watching everyone bye